Hey there, this is Paul with Copper Mine, and welcome to our Can It Strip It segment. Today we are working with our CT102, a compact handheld wire stripping tool device. Uh, this tool right here will allow you to strip any wire size within the wire guide range. You can strip Romex, you can strip wires as small as 24 gauge um, and up to about 7 uh, 16ths of an inch in diameter. Uh, both solid and stranded wires will go through this machine. Today, I have a 12 gauge stranded cable that we're gonna strip. As you can see here, I have just a so short section. And if you found yourself on our page, it's probably because you're a copper wire enthusiast. Um, maybe you work uh, in the electrical field, HVAC, uh, or you are a scrapyard. Uh, this tool is great for small on the go use. It can fit in your pocket, it can go in a toolbox. Very convenient, small, compact wire stripping tool at a very affordable price. So let's get into it. Just a quick on how to use this tool. It is spring compression. So you're going to use your thumb and your index finger or middle finger to push the machine up and down. That allows the blade to compress into the wire guide, as you can see here. If you would like to rotate the wire wheel, depending on the size wire you're doing, you simply turn this knob here and then the rotating, uh, the wheel will rotate just like this, depending on the wire size you're doing. So for us, with this 12 gauge stranded wire, we're going to match the hole to the wire size. And then we're gonna set it in the center, press the blade down into the, into the groove right there. And then we're gonna lock it into place just like that so that the blade can go in and out nice and smoothly. Um, you may see this uh, from a lot of other sellers uh, please note that our machine is patented. So this is the original copper mine wire stripping tool. Uh, it is not a copy or a counterfeit product. This is the original authentic copper wire stripping tool that you're looking at here today. Uh, so once you get your wire guide wheel set, the next thing is that you wanna set your blade depth. So you have a screw right here on the side and a hole through the top of the machine that allows you to adjust that screw. So I'm going to grab a screwdriver here, and then the screwdriver goes right through the hole, as you can see here, and then you can adjust this screw up or down. And that's what determines your blade depth. So if you're finding that it's really hard to pull your wire through the machine, then your blade may be too deep into the wire. So for example here, it's not cutting deep enough if I were to put it here. So then what I would do is I would reduce that blade depth just a little, just like that. And that will allow me to pull it nice and easily through the machine. Once I get it through the machine, you can see here, this is actually a THHN wire. So it has that plastic casing on the outside. Um, we cut that and separated that nice and easily. And then if you look here, I have a nice cut along this copper wire. Look at how easy that was to strip. Nice and easy. So this end piece um, didn't go through the wire stripper. You wanna stick it out about one inch out of the wire stripper to be able to pull it through the machine. Um, but an easy trick to get this off would be to put it back through the front of the machine this way and then pull in the opposite direction just a couple of times and then you should be able to break that casing just like this and then pull it off so just like that so can the ct102 strip a 12 gauge stranded wire with thhn um, casing on the outside yes it can great 